Hi everyone, I thought I'd share with you some of my favorite foods and what I like to eat and cook. This is a follow-up video about my diet, so I'll have an annotation and a link in the description if you would like to learn how I became a vegetarian. My diet in that previous video from July of 2014 was actually pescatarian in that I was a vegetarian that ate fish. Vegetarians do not eat meat. But pescatarian is a specific term when a vegetarian does not eat any other meat besides fish. However, I no longer eat fish and am strictly vegetarian. I am not vegan and have no desire to become one anytime soon. I did start to notice some health problems when becoming a vegetarian. So I know that with a vegan diet, it would be even harder for me to maintain a healthy diet. A vegan diet can heavily lack certain vitamins, specifically fat-soluble vitamins, uh, which is why many vegans at one point uh, may deal with vitamin deficiencies, such as vitamin D and especially B vitamins. This, is, uh, this can cause a lower bone density, such as osteoporosis, as well as neurological damage to the nervous system and brain. So having a vegan diet has to be done a certain way to prevent these things since they can cause serious long-term damage if not done correctly. Anyway, before I begin, I would also like to say that I never really ate much sweet candies or chocolates before. And then all of a sudden, it was all I wanted to eat and I would just buy cookies and sweet things at the grocery store. While it was organic and all natural, it was a lot of sugar. I determined it was due to a lack of vitamins in my diet, specifically vitamin D and B vitamins. Some of the, the uh, B vitamins can mostly be obtained from meat. So if you go vegetarian or vegan, be sure to get enough vitamin D and B vitamins since I have been, been losing that desire to eat all that sugar, which was bad for my teeth and body. The dietary supplements I personally take are vitamin D3, vitamin K complex, as well as a vitamin B complex. These are ones I personally take and it works for me. If you suspect any kind of deficiency, please get in touch with your doctor since I cannot give you any suggestions of what you should take or what you shouldn't take or if you are deficient. Anyway, so those are the supplements that help me. However, the types of food I like vary greatly. I love Indian, Asian, Mexican, Italian, and Greek foods. I love to cook and make things. For breakfast each morning, I make a protein shake. Uh, it consists of milk. Uh, currently, I am using flax milk, but I switch milks all the time. I was using organic grass-fed cow's milk. This certainly is the premium milk that may cost a bit more, but doesn't have any added hormones or other crap. Plus, the cows eat grass and not grain and are not kept in some building and are out eating grass like they are supposed to. So I use a cup of milk flax milk currently, which is made of flax seeds. Then I add a few tablespoons of ground flax seeds, even had uh, the one with chia seeds in it, which is nice. Then uh, I add in a few tablespoons of the protein powder, which is hemp protein. Then a tablespoon or a little more of coconut oil, my favorite. Uh, the coconut oil is for fat, since everything else in the shake is has pretty much no fat to it. A tablespoon of coconut oil provides more than half your daily uh, saturated fat intake. So it's quite good at fattening up a drink like this. And then to top it all off with a banana. It is smoother and tastes better if the banana is at least a, a bit yellow since the hemp protein is not a good taste and the banana really covers it up. I blend it all up and it makes almost two cups of a protein shake that has about half my daily value of protein for the day. I uh, drink this each morning. I decided on hemp protein because when I heavily researched protein powders, I discovered 
that many of them contain heavy metals such as mercury, so I didn't want to consume them for a prolonged period of time. Hemp protein seems to be the cleanest and only contains one ingredient, hemp. The others were several different types of protein sources mixed in. Plus, hemp seems to be relatively cheap compared to those other ones. For lunchtime, I tend to make a, a frozen meal, uh, sometimes a frozen Amy's organic brand uh, meal like burrito, enchilada, pizza, lasagna, pot pie, so many other things. In addition, other frozen foods I really love are spinach and feta quiche, uh, the spinach and feta uh, phyllo spanakopitas, as well as samosas with some tamarind and green chili chutney. I enjoy vegetable spring rolls as well as raw vegetable spring rolls uh, wrapped in rice paper. I even like various kinds of Asian soups like miso soup, spicy ramens, uh, these very thin uh, noodles as well as some rice noodles. Uh, those uh, as well as the other Asian foods I enjoy, I usually eat with chopsticks. I have these nice metal ones that I've gotten quite good at. I never used to know how to how to use chopsticks at all and was quite bad, but I'm, I'm pretty good now, I'd say. Now, usually for dinner time, I will prepare something. Some of my top favorites are pizza. What I do with pizza is use a gluten-free pizza crust, which is good, but there is this uh, non-gluten-free non one I really love as well. But anyway, I use that and saute onions and coconut oil, um, add just enough sauce, not too much, uh, then uh, mix in a ton, a ton of herbs and spices. Then if I have it, I will put fresh basil leaves on it. For toppings, I use the, the sauteed onions, garlic, jalapenos, black olives, kalamata olives, tomatoes if I have any, as well as, the, as an Italian cheese blend and feta cheese which is one of my favorite cheeses. I don't like too much cheese, but just enough. Other foods I enjoy making are various spicy vegetable curries that I eat with black rice, spicy wontons and vegetable pot stickers, which is always cooked in coconut oil since that is the best. French onion soup, which is my favorite type of soup. Again, the onions are cooked in coconut oil. Even just something like grilled cheese, I make super fancy. I use moderately thick slices of Italian bread and add an Italian cheese blend and feta cheese, as well as fresh uh, basil, if I have it, and tomatoes. I cook this up in coconut oil and eat it with tomato vegetable alphabet soup, which has carrots, potatoes, corn, and green beans in it. I've made uh, various veggie burgers, usually with onion, tomato, pickles. I usually eat this uh, with fries, like veggie fries or sweet potato fries. I enjoy making quesadillas with onions, jalapenos, calamata olives, black olives, and, and Mexican cheese blend. Cook that up in the oven and get it uh, nice and crispy and have it with a ton of hot sauce. I like uh, raviolis and pastas and Put a ton of herbs and spices in the sauce. Since I am vegetarian, I eat uh, fake products. So fake fish, fake chicken, fake turkey, and, and fake beef products. I like making vegetarian chili with corn, beans, onion, jalapenos, cilantro, and vegetarian tacos and sloppy joes. Something I like to do with the fake chicken is make a mashed potato bowl. I get mashed potatoes, mix in corn, as well as pieces of crispy fake chicken. Then to make it wonderful, a ton of hot sauce. Uh, it looks like orange slop when it's all made, but it's super tasty and spicy. I love various fruits and vegetables and other things. I love banana, apples, kiwi, grapes, strawberries, blueberries, oranges, cranberries. Even can eat uh, raw cranberries, which are very good. Onion, garlic, jalapeno, corn, spinach, kale, tomato. These are just, uh, those are, are the ones I probably eat the most. Um, as for snacks, something as simple as some bread with olive oil. Is, is super tasty, heated in the oven for a bit. 
Uh, you can add cheese, tomato, and basil to it as well, and it's excellent. I love uh, frozen pretzels that are pizza and grilled cheese flavor. Uh, kale chips, which are dried pieces of kale. Salsas with chips, hummus. I've made bruschetta, which is one of my favorite snacks. I put a whole leaf of basil and some feta cheese on it, and it's really good. Heat it up in the oven. And another thing that I haven't personally made but love is caprese. Not really a snack food, I suppose, but I would eat it as a snack. But it's basically a sliced tomatoes and mozzarella with basil and olive oil and or balsamic vinaigrette. Interesting story about caprese. I used to pronounce it as caprice. It was only when a friend and I went out to dinner just in the beginning of 2015 that we both got it and she pronounced it caprese. And I was like, is that, is that how it's actually pronounced? And we asked the waitress and she was right. All this time I was pronouncing it incorrectly. As for candy and sweet uh, snacks and, and nuts, I enjoy uh, various protein bars. I eat them occasionally, uh, usually between meals. I love uh, peanuts, almonds, and cashews. I also enjoy uh, very dark chocolate, like 90% or higher. I want to try 100%, so maybe someday. <laughs> Maybe some chocolate covered fruits, coconut milk ice cream, avocado ice cream, any other unusual things. I don't eat many sweets uh, like that and would prefer naturally sweet things such as fruit. So that is just some of the foods I enjoy. There are plenty of others I love since I enjoy trying new things. But for now, these are some of my top favorites. And maybe it sparked your hunger. I know on my previous uh, diet video that people mentioned they wanted to see the pizza I was talking about that I made. Maybe one day I will show how I prepare that and make a few other things. Maybe even non-food tutorials as well, such as how I make candles, body creams, toothpaste, and hopefully makeup soon since I want to try to make my own makeup. But for now, I'll leave you with some suspense. You're not gonna say thanks for watching at the end? That's what you're thinking right now. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. Okay, okay. Thanks for watching, and I truly do mean that, so thank you.